the anime time stop happens. At like, at like yeah. the very end of the battle when yeah, Mario's yeah. like beaten and bloodied, it's the, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. And then Mario appears behind. Yeah. Says like, something in Italian and kills you. <laughs> nothing, the nothing personnel kid. Yeah. <laughs> he hits you with the uh, super. Nothing the, the personnel. <laughs> I was going to say, he hits well, you with. Well, that just sounds like a pasta to me. <laughs> <laughs> he hits you with the very uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga Italian. Okay. Italianese. Italianese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my. This wow. Yeah, what a start from Kosoku here. And then, then again, that's what we saw in Losers and Losers Finals as well. That ended up going game five. Okay, now Austin got a little bit of ground underneath him. Wow, I loved the idea of that forward smash actually. Just spaced, but Austin barely had time to shield it. I also think we just saw right there, I think what Kasoku's trying to do with those is to stuff Austin's PK Thunders as they come out. Mm -hmm. Which would be a really excellent uh, addition to the arsenal, but you don't need to add anything to up smash. It just nope, works. That's, that's Give it need. to Todd Howard. Yeah, that's It just works. <laughs> Give it to Todd. Buy my up smash. Oh. <laughs> Cute little fireball that's still going to get more. I love Todd Howard <laughs> so much. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed Mario's Up Smash in Super Smash Brothers for <laughs> Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. So we brought it back for Smash Brothers Ultimate. I need you to buy this Up Smash. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And back air is actually going to take the kill. We're releasing it for the Switch so it's portable. You can take it wherever you want. Forder? <laughs> He's really sharking for him, but yeah. it's hard to land those on Ness. Speaking of forward air, it's a nice quick string. A good and well-timed recovery. Oh, oh yeah. Austin, you're going for some <laughs> wild stuff. <laughs> so everyone, tell on the, me. everyone on the couch collectively. Yeah, at the same time. Did that? Did that? Uh, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> the excellent. spacing. The, the spacing. I mean, the up air landing right before it to make it so that he landed on his feet and still having to tech. Sethlon, do you Beautiful. know off the top of your head if Kasoku plays with AB Smash? Uh, I'm not sure. Because I feel like the way that he's getting these forward smashes out, the way he's smoothly buttery placing them after his walks, I know he plays Tilt Stick. He's not yep. a fool. <laughs> he's got to be playing with AB Smash. Might Just be. planting these. Then again, if anybody's viable with Smash Stick, it's up smash McGee Mario. Sure, yeah. but but the way Kasoku's buttery yeah. smooth, you know, spacing these aerials and drifting with them, that's Tilt Stick. I thought I thought you were gonna ask Sethlon honestly. Like, do you know off the top of your head if Kasoku is sick? <laughs> <laughs> do you, Do you know? Definitely. Oh my oh, God! Do yep. you know off the top mm -hmm. of your head if Kasoku is sick? I mean, I could have told you that before. <gasps> I thought he yes. was gonna try to. I think he, he was trying to, to kite block, to but sure. Austin was too. He was on the next level. He's like, I've seen cool. this fireball before. Kasoku! Oh wow, the weak. great. Okay. Nice quick up air strings. Okay, <laughs> fights back with an air drifting in between the PK fire, or PK thunder rather. Oh, good patience Ortho. from Austin there actually. Mm -hmm. Sitting down, like, yeah, you gotta land eventually, bro. I'm gonna be down here waiting for you. I'll be here. I don't need to go you're up not, there. You're I'll not, you're not pit. You're not Meta Knight. You yep. got one, one double jump. jump. Yeah. Oh. Back throw, not gonna uh. do it, but he gets the position. Yep, gonna be able to harass with PK thunder. Oh, excellent. Oh, that was cute. Honestly, I feel like the position is so much better with forward throw at that angle where they're not so high up. Unfortunately, Austin's up smash a little bit better than Kosoku's there. Yeah, so I, the, it the is basically a don't go smash. for it, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Austin realized in the last second he was like, "Wait, that's a bait." Yeah, <laughs> Wait, that's the Kosoku. <laughs> I gotta chill. Back throw Back should th do it. Uh, no, good deal. Yeah, no rage. You're not Ness. Oh. Oh, I love it. He has to go for the thunder. Austin goes for the high one, but he's getting oh. caught with the up smash regardless because Kosoku, he herded him into that spot like cattle. Absolutely, yeah. And understood that once he herded him into that spot, he's like, okay, now I give him a little bit of room. Now I air dodge out so I don't get murdered. Mm -hmm. And then we cash in the free kill. Kosoku decided I am booting up Twilight Princess for the Nintendo GameCube, and I am going to play that first five minutes. I am herding these cattle. <laughs> Most people's, <laughs> most people's least favorite part of the game, but kasoku has got the patience for it. Yeah, Neighbor like with it. the with the deep digs. <laughs> Kasoku's a patient man. He's a very what patient man. What can I say? Man. He likes the weird parts. Everyone else likes the hitty bits. He's like, you know what? I don't know. He's doing pretty good at the hitty bits right I now. I like the there part. Are, there are a lot of really good turns. <laughs> oh! He texts wow. it? That is the greatest tech I have seen all year. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, wow. 
Okay. 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 I was uh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had to. Ta I had to take a pause. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that for needed a moment. a moment. That definitely needed a moment. The like. Kaso <laughs> Kasoku was fighting so hard for it, but Austin, with attack of the year, I got. I mean, look. Maintained his life. Maintained his, you know, ability to stay alive just a little bit longer. If eventually found that back throw, and that's one big thing when you get to the last stock, last hit situations between these two characters. Ness has a bit of an advantage, in my opinion, of getting that kill. He's going to have the back throw from a lar larger range than Mario will at that threat. A lot earlier a percent. He's got that one hit up air that's going to do all of the work for him once he gets you those kill percents. This is oh. an accidental color switch from Austin, by the way. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Mario's got a little bit more work to put in. He's got two oh, pieces oh. that he's got to find. Okay. Oh! okay that was Swing good. and a miss. Got the Joey Gallo on it. Wow. Okay. See, this is one of the big things I think Kasoku has in the Kas in the uh, Kasoku versus Austin matchup mm -hmm. is that he's very wily and probably really good at getting out of a lot of these crazy that, Austin things. Oh, didn't call the drift properly. I don't know if you have time to react there, uh, but it looks like Kasoku like really believed that Austin was either going to drift in or mm. drift neutral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but because after you got footstooled, you can drift either left, right, center. Austin drifted away, was able to catch. Uh, avoid that neutral area, and Ooh. now DIing incorrectly for that. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about <laughs> that. May be the uh, one of the few times I've seen Kosoku DI improperly and die because of it. Mm. I feel like one of the big things that's improved for Kosoku is I feel like he can think about more things at one time now. Yeah, definitely a high level thing. Yeah, <laughs> thinking about two things is nuts. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, soft hit. Neutral air into up smash. Hello, oh. sheep. Fox. Who is this character? That's Waluigi. Oh, okay. Whose mans is okay. this? Whose mans is this? <laughs> Collect him. <laughs> Collect him. <laughs> Austin trying to pick that up and put it in his inventory. Yeah, that's the wrong character for that. Well, I mean, Earthbound's an RPG. He's got stuff in his backpack. I was thinking Villager. Yeah, yeah. not an RPG. But. It's the, <laughs> the Breath of the Wild. Your inventory is full. Drops back Can we ground. talk about poo? Uh, From that, Earth. That's, gr <laughs> <laughs> that's gross, Kimona, and no. <laughs> and no. False. <laughs> no, I'm, glad, I'm glad that's where you decided to take it. <laughs> oh. Anyways, we're taking this into game oh, four. Oh, poo. Yeah, that is poo. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's poo. Way. It's funny that you bring it up. Right? <laughs> okay, dead joke. <laughs> yeah, dead joke. Come on. What we got? Read the read the audience, guys. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I could pull up my phone. And, you know, I got you. Chat, but here we go. I'm in there. Nobody has spoken in forever. Yeah, nobody cares about poo. Of about poo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Antoine dropping the wow. That's crazy. <laughs> It was a back throw. <laughs> about what? <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the back throw. <laughs> it was, that was a crazy back throw. Kind of a clean setup, actually. It was. It was. Crazy back throw. Catch a ride! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, game four grands. Austin's in on winner's side. One game away from taking this shockwave. But Kosoku, God, does he have something to say about it. Mm-hmm. Yep, had a lot of momentum going into the set. Kind of petering off now. See if he can make uh, make some comebacks here. This would not be the first time that Kosoku has taken a set off of Austin. He has done it before. He's had very close sets in the past. Going for the footstool setup, but not in the right percents. Austin, good job adjusting the scenario, chasing the PK Thunder after he realized the PK Thunder 2 setup was gone. Still getting consistent damage off of the up tilt. Now Kasaku's going to start transitioning into doing more uh, down throw single hits, chasing the landing. That approaching into up smash kill percents. That up air from Austin as a as a get off of me is so terrifying when you see Kasoku Ooh. just waiting and baiting. Ooh. Here come the footsies. You know when the footsies start, Kasoku's looking for that smash attack. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Yeesh. the big head. Catch yep. him with that aerial up smash. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh no, the read on the roll, but incorrect timing. This guy could damage right now. 25% oh, no. catches him with that platform. Jump. Wait. Oh, okay. Nice. So, yeah, Austin's Austin is a big fan of that. Austin goes for the classic Austin, the jump from ledge, air dodge, drift back. Uh, Kasoku had time to catch him. Austin was, for a second, said, I'm going to hate you with this peak at Thunder 2, and then he realized that would be the end of game four. Yeah. 
<laughs> and so he said, I'm going to go back on stage. You can punish me. Ooh, the pivot grab. I don't know beautiful. if that was necessary, but he got it. Looked beautiful. Oh. I love after the spot dodge, mashing that down tilt. There's yeah, a lot of characters yeah. in this game where you spot dodge and you, you don't even have time to go for your own grab because yep. they have such a quick jab, such a quick other option. Oh, yep. Yeah, I wouldn't go up there. Yeah, yeah, scary. He recognized that. He could potentially chase it and then recognized it was a bad idea. So. Trying oh. to catch him with the up air, but one missed up air. You're so floaty, you're up there long enough that that gives Mario the time to counter assault. That neutral air, not enough landing leg for Soku to actually punish after he shimmies it. Having a little bit of hard, uh, hard time. Austin's in that, I think, in that brief nickel and dime mode where he wants to get Kasoku to this percentage now, where all it takes is a back throw. Mm -hmm. Back throw, up air. We are out of nickel and dime mode and into Ness kill uh, mode. Uh, 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 oh, spaghetti. <laughs> Yep, oh. there we go. One last aerial up smash to finish off the night. Mm -hmm. We saw a lot of... Kasoku, I feel like, just didn't have as much of a read on Austin's movement as he did on Oryx's, which... Uh, I, I feel like it wasn't even necessarily so much, like, not a read on his movement, because, like, mm -hmm. like I said, like, the spacing and his shimmying was good. Yeah.